Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be creating four gift ideas for that special mother in your life. This DIY project is part of a Mother's Day collaborative effort along with several other extremely talented YouTube crafters. This means that we have all come together and created Mother's Day themed projects and tutorials and they have been combined into a playlist that is linked in the description box below for all of you to enjoy. Please be sure to check them out after this video and let them know that She's So Crafty sent you. Now I'm super excited to share this tutorial with you but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my amazing subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's jump into the projects. Now the first gift idea is a pine cone flower bouquet. Now for this project we'll be using mini pine cones that have been mounted on skewers. Now I will be upcycling these from a previous DIY project and the instructions to make these are in the upper right hand corner of this video and I'll also link them in the description box below. Now I'm going to gather up some assorted acrylic paints that I have for my flowers and these can be your choice. Then we want to go ahead and take a chip brush and we want to apply the color to the pine cones making sure that we get into all those cracks and crevices using a dabbing motion. And then we're going to go ahead and repeat this process with all the other colors of your choice. And now that all the flowers are painted, we're going to paint those stems. So I'm going to mix two greens to get the color that I want. And then you want to go ahead and paint the stems of each flower. Now once the flowers are dry, I'm going to add a bit of that yellow to the palette and I want to paint the centers of each flower. And here are all of our beautiful flowers painted. So now we can take our container that we want to use, and in this case, I'll use be using this mug from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do is take a few pieces of rolled up tape and I'm gonna place it in the bottom of that mug. And then I'm gonna line the mug with plastic, and in this case, I'm just gonna use a cut up zip bag. You wanna stick the bag down inside of that mug and press it against that tape. And then I'm going to take some floral foam and I'm just going to cut this to fit inside my mug right below the top level. And then once it's all fit, just trim off that extra plastic. Now for the greenery, I'll be using this 97 cent boxwood pick from Walmart. You wanna go ahead and clip off all the branches with a wire cutter. And then I'm gonna arrange these individually inside of the mug. And once it looks good, we can go ahead and start adding our pine cone flowers. And all we're going to do is we're going to cut and adjust them as needed and we're just going to put them in in a random pattern. Now once everything is in, you can trim off any boxwood to even it out and make it look nice. Now we're just going to add a tag for mom. So I have an assortment here, but I think I'm going to go with the heart. So I'm going to go ahead and add that string to my tag. And then I'm just going to take a chalk marker and write mom on the tag. I attach it to my bouquet and there you go. We have a finished look. And here's the completed arrangement. Isn't it simply adorable?
Now, I absolutely love the detail in flower pine cones. And the best thing is, is that they will be beautiful year round. And that mug can still be used for beverages. All you have to do is remove the arrangement and the tape and you're good to go. Now, gift idea number two is a three-tier marble tray. Now, for this project, we'll be using a marble plate, saucer, and bowl from the Dollar Tree. We'll also be using two of these glass candle holders. So what we want to do is take one of those candle holders and we want to glue it to the center of the large plate. Now, I'm using only hot glue because I want to reuse these items, but if this is permanent, please use E6000 as well. You can go ahead and apply your hot glue to the bottom of that candle holder and then press it into the center of that large plate. And then you apply your glue combination to the top of that candle holder and you're going to press that saucer right on top. Then for the bowl, we're going to take that second candle holder and we want to apply it to the center bottom of the bowl. And then we want to apply our glue to the bottom of that candle holder and press it into the center of our saucer. And now you have a completed three-tier tray. So I wanted to add some flowers to my bowl, so I grabbed my floral stash bucket and I picked out some roses and greenery, lavender, and some baby's breath. So I'm just gonna bundle these up and I'm just gonna secure these together by wrapping one of those floral stems around the bunch. Now you can cut these with a wire clipper to fit the bowl, but I'm simply going to bend these because I plan to use these in another project. And then once done, you just place them inside your bowl and arrange the arrangement to make it sure it's even. And here is the finished tray. You can personalize this for mom. Now this classic DIY project is super popular, but I wanted to bring it back for Mother's Day. Now these are quick and simple, and I love that you can customize it with mom's favorite items. Now from jewelry to cupcakes, I think that this would make a great gift and has multiple uses. And I know my mom loves fingernail polish, so I think decking these out with some of her favorite colors would make an awesome gift. Now gift idea number three is an I Love Mom picture frame. Now for this project, I'm gonna use one of these white decorative mirrors from the Dollar Tree. And I'll also be adding this cute design from a frame that I printed on cardstock. Now this is linked in the description box below. Now I'll also be using a few of these camellias and wildflower pieces from my stash. So we'll need to cut out our design. So what I'm going to do is use that mirror as a guide. Now once it's removed from the frame, you wanna lay it over the design and we wanna trace it out with a pencil. And then you just cut your design out. Now to adhere it, I'm just going to apply four dots of hot glue to the corners and apply it to the back of that mirror. And now we just place everything back into the frame. So now we're ready to add our flowers. Now we're gonna start by adding wildflowers into that corner. And once they're in place, go ahead and clip off that end stem and then we can secure it in place with some hot glue. Now 
And then I'm going to take one of my camellias, I'm going to remove the flower and the leaves. We're going to first secure the leaves on top of the edge of that wildflower stem. And then I'm going to shorten that stem on the back of my camellia and I'm going to secure that on top of those leaves. Then you can clip off any excess as you desire. And then we're going to repeat this at the bottom opposite corner. And once you completed that, this is what it should look like. And here it is on display. I just think this would be such a sweet, sweet gift for mom. The soft pink of those camellias accented with the white wildflowers blend perfectly with this photo. And I can definitely see mom smile every time she sees it. Now gift idea number four is a rose gift box. Now for this box, this project will need a small square box and I will be repurposing this box from goldfish crackers. So we're going to start by measuring up from the bottom, just short of about three inches, and I'm going to mark it all the way around. And then I'm going to draw a line connecting all of my marks. And here I'm just going to go ahead and roughly cut off the top of that box and then make sure I clean the inside thoroughly. And now that it's clean, we can go ahead and trim that box down to our marked line. Now I decided to decorate my box with these decorative sheets from the Dollar Tree. Now it comes in three different designs and I chose the stripes for my box. Now these sheets are six inches wide, so I'm just going to cut these in half long ways to make three inch strips. And now we can start to apply our strips all the way around the outside of our box. Now to apply them to the box, we're only going to use some hot glue. And here is the box fully covered. Now to trim out the bottom, I'm going to use this gold bling wrap from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm just going to use hot glue and apply it around the bottom edge. Now I have this scrap piece of foam that I'm going to cut to fit inside the box. Now you can also use floral foam. So I'm just going to press my box into that foam to imprint it and then I'm going to cut that square out along those imprinted lines. Now we know styrofoam can be messy so I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick clean up and then I'm going to take that foam and I am going to put it inside my box. Now you can run a bead of hot glue inside the edge if you like, but it's not necessary.
So now I'm going to take two bunches of roses from the Dollar Tree and what I'm going to do is cut off the roses leaving about a two inch stem below each bud. And now that they're all cut we can start applying them inside the box in rows. And here are all those beautiful roses lined up inside. Now I just added a simple red ribbon around the middle and this is ready to customize with a tag for mom. Now I really love the pretty roses at Dollar Tree this year and I'm so happy to use them in this project. I think this turned out so sweet and paired with a card would make a great gift. Now let me know in the comments which one of these gift ideas was your favorite. Listen, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you subscribe by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I will see all of you next time.